Hi everyone, I'm Tulsi, your personal strength and conditioning coach, bringing you this yoga inspired strength flow. Now the reason that I have two blocks in front of me is we are going to need them in our session today. So please bring them, they're not essential, but it might give you that little bit of relief because we're gonna do a lot of chaturanga, a lot of low planks, okay? So we're gonna work the upper body, we're gonna work the core, we're gonna work those legs, let's get ready. Hit subscribe if you haven't, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started for your yoga inspired strength flow. The two that we're going to use is one of them is going to come up um, in a vertical position, this height, popped down, no it's not, it's this height, so in um, a horizontal position we're going to place it in the middle of the mat and then the other one we're going to do it in a um, opposite position, so I'm going to basically take it on its side, so basically I've got this position on the mat but a little bit further away and I'll show you why like I said, this is just to assist, to add more difficulty, but for those of you who are yoga pros, you might just want to do it without. The reason is, when we are in chaturanga, when we're in low plank position, we want the block to be on our thigh, on our thighs, and then the top of the yoga block to be in line with our sternum, right? So as you notice, my arms are pretty far back. So I might want to just adjust it, so this block here is pretty much a sternum height and I'm getting my arms nice and level. So I've got a nice low chaturanga and we're basically going to hold those positions for a long time. So the reason I've got the block set up, remember, so one is in line with the sternum and the other one is crossed above the knee okay so utilize it and just have a play around with it so what we're going to do this whole session is we're going to go through um sun salutations but we're going to hold each and every position okay so we are going to start off in mountain pose <laughs> so the first thing is let's get ourselves at the top of the mat actually i'm going to be in the middle so you can actually see me i don't think you can see me actually because there's light streaming in okay so nice mountain pose position feet to hip distance there are in line with the mat whichever position you are in so let's start from the feet so we want a nice even grounding with our feet all four corners of the feet are pushing into the mat i want you to start to lift the arches of your feet so you're nice and grounded, yeah? So let's just start to take a few breaths here. Just focusing on the feet, focusing on the grounding of the feet. All four corners, from the big toe to the tiny toe, to the heel, to the inside arch, you're pressing down into the mat. As you're doing this, you're now lifting those kneecaps just as you would in a cobra position. You are activating those thighs. You're really grounding the roots of your body down into the mat. As you breathe, take a moment, if you wish, and you feel safe and comfortable, close down those eyes. When you're closing down those eyes, please focus on the front of the thighs, your quadricep muscles. Four of those muscles going all the way down and attaching themselves to the knee. Now the backs of those muscles, your three hamstrings pulling down, elevating those legs, really grounding those feet into the floor. Keep taking your breaths through the nose as I'm talking squeezing the glutes as we're rising higher through the ground up to our hip points and squeeze the glutes so you can actually push those hips forward a tiny bit more you might feel a little bit more traction towards the ball of your foot towards the toes towards the big mound of your front big toe take a deep breath in now pull in that navel really draw in that navel, squeezing the abdominals 
And I want you to just broaden the chest a little bit more. Release the shoulders away from your ears and focus on the strength that is holding you here. From your toe mounds to the heels, to the thighs, to the hip points that are pushing forward, the glutes that are squeezing, your abdominals are keeping you strong. Your shoulders, I love the analogy, you're imagining you're making a smile with your shoulders. Open up and the palms are nice and wide and relaxed. Your neck, your jawline and your forehead. This is your mountain pose. This is your strong pose. Today is gonna to be a strong class. We're gonna do multiple low planks, chaturangas. We're going to do multiple sequences through sun salutations. So set yourself up for success. The fact that you've already stepped onto this mat shows that you are willing to move through difficult positions, through challenging times, and come into this movement. So every movement we are doing, I want you to come back to this strong mountain pose every movement every position we are in the strong mountain movement let's go through the first pose take those arms up over the head reach up over the head take a deep inhale and then exhale bring those arms towards your chest in a prayer position beautiful let's do that three more times focus on grounding the feet into the floor sweep those arms up to the sky reach up to those fingertips take your shoulders away from your ears hold here just hold here for a second everything's squeezed everything's lengthened palms touch bring it down towards your chest let's do that one more time with pure intention palms up towards the sky sweep them overhead take that strong mountain pose and reach it up to the sky see if you can really squeeze your abdominals and glutes bring it down towards the chest Beautiful. This time what we're going to do is take it down to the ground. So palms up towards the sky. Inhale, reach up and then exhale, hinge from the hips. Get those legs working, core working. Take it all the way down nice and slow to the ground and release those hands into the floor. Now in this moment, I just want you to really take your belly onto your thighs. So if I turn to the side, I've got a nice generous bend into my knee. For those of you who are happy to go into a straight legged position, please do that. But let's get a really nice hinge from the hips. As we're in this position, focusing on the grounding, the hinging from the hips, the relaxing of the head. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Let those head muscles relax. Now really ping those knees forward. Keep pushing those knees forward. And then pull yourself up. Come up, but you're gonna push your hips forward and take your time as you come back into that mountain pose. Nice high rise, strong position. Let's do that again. Sweep those arms up overhead. Touch those palms together. Bring it down towards the chest, hinge from the hips, strong legs here, dive straight down to the floor and rest your belly on your thighs. Take a deep breath in here, drive those knees forward, round up that spine, grounding through the roots, pushing those hips forward, squeezing the glutes, the head and the neck are the last thing that raise. One more time, inhale, lift up those arms, exhale, Dive forward, take your time, hinge from the hips, nice core strength, and release. Beautiful. This time, halfway lift. We want a nice, strong position here. Imagine your halfway lift is so strong in your upper body, it's like you're doing a plank position. So if I rest a glass of water on your back, you're gonna be able to hold it. Push those fingertips through the shins really get those hamstrings engaged soft bend to the knees if you need to pull in that waistline drive that chest forward almost like you're making a smile with that chest again and then exhale drive down to forward fold 
push through those feet to reach and raise up to the sky. We're gonna do that two more times. Palms up to the sky, dive straight down, hinge from the hips. Beautiful, down to the ground. Exhale, inhale, halfway lift. Push through those arms, get those arms working, get those triceps working. So you're really trying to push and get those arms and the back and the core working, ready for our plank. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, rise back up from root to the sky. One more time, dive straight down to the ground, get those hamstrings engaged, get the core engaged, relax and release. Inhale, halfway lift, hold here. Beautiful. Okay, let's add on. Palms now down to the ground. I've kept my blocks where they are. But remember, it's up to you what you do, whether you bring them in or not. But let's form a nice, strong plank position here. So you're pushing the ground away with those hands. You're almost doing a mountain pose in a plank position. You're getting those legs active. You're squeezing your inner thighs. You're squeezing your glutes. You're squeezing your belly button. You're pushing the ground away. And then you're looking forward at 45 degree angle. Take a deep breath in. We're not gonna stand up from here, but what we are going to do is play ourselves into that low chaturanga. Now, if you've got the blocks, you're gonna be able to hold it a little bit longer, right? So in this position, adjust the blocks. What do you need? Do you need to just pause and just shift along? Is it comfortable? Because once you've got your blocks, we'll be able to have a nice flow sequence, okay? So I'm just adjusting to make sure my arms are down. Take one more breath here. Now this is an alternating up dog. Keep your feet grounded into the floor, curled in, and then you're gonna push the ground up, but you're gonna keep your thighs on that bottom block. Make sense? So you're not having an easy way out, you're actually pulling through a nice big up dog, opening up the chest, but then squeezing those thighs together. One more breath here. Big breath in here, bend those knees, hinge at the hips, down dog straight away. Take three breaths, bend at those knees. If you need to cycle those legs, please do so. And breathe. Let's just take two breaths and just hold this position. Beautiful, look forward, take one giant step, another giant step, halfway lift, and then exhale lower, root to rise from the ground all the way up to the sky, inhale, reach, and then exhale, palms to the chest. So we're gonna do that whole sequence again, so make sure your, your blocks are set up. Remember, you can adjust them, but we'll try not to adjust them as we go along. Palms down, palms open, mountain pose, nice strong position. Inhale, lift up towards the sky. Exhale, dive straight down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into that plank pose. Inhale, exhale, lower down to chaturanga on that block. Now, for those of you who want to stay here, stay here. For those of you who are coming with me, we're going to push the ground away and then back up to a high plank. And this is why the blocks will be useful. It's getting your body neurologically designed to go back into that strong chaturanga. Two more like this. Push the ground away. Squeeze every single muscle in your body. Last one. Lower down. And then lift. Drop the thighs to that bottom block and open up to an up dog. So a modified up dog. Guys, you are looking gorgeous, I must say. Open up the chest a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. Curl those toes into the ground. Use your abdominals as you're doing this. Lift those hips up nice and high. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, look forward. You can either step jump or hop straight up beautiful you do you inhale lift 
exhale, lower, inhale, root to rise, palms up to the sky, come down to heart center, open up mountain pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, palms up to the sky, exhale, hinge at the hips, straight down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, if you step back, remember to step back with your opposite arm, uh, feet. Take a deep breath in, hold in plank. Exhale, chaturanga, hold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, chaturanga, hold. Adjust your position if you need to. Back up to plank, last one. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Two breaths here. Hinge from those hips. Squeeze those elbows together. Your armpits are squeezing together. Look straight forward. Step, jump or hop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Root to rise. And then back into mountain pose and pause. Readjust, realign. Reassess where your mountain pose is. We're going to do that one more time before we move on. Palms up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Down to the ground. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Plank. Set yourself up for success. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Lower. Inhale, lift, last one, exhale, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, two breaths here, look straight forward, step, jump or hop, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, lower, inhale, root to rise. Exhale, palms down to your heart center and just take one hand on your heart, one, heart, one hand on your belly and breathe. Keeping those eyes closed. Pause here. If you felt that the heart was going, this is where we can press the reset button and come back to a nice, neutral state. Take a deep breath in. Good, one more breath. Beautiful. Take those arms straight up to the sky. And then exhale, we're going to come down to that chair pose. So if some of you, you end up reaching down and then coming up. If that's the chair pose you want to use today, that's fine. For those of you who were following me, your arms are up and then we take our arms to our chest in a prayer and hold in a chair pose. So squeeze those glutes. Imagine you're squeezing a block between those thighs. You're activating those outer muscles of those thighs your glutes, your core is pulling in, your chest is nice and open. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, dive straight down to the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, make your way into plank position. Make your way into chaturanga, low plank. And this time we're gonna do six presses. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, keep looking forward at 45 degrees, and lower. For those of you who just want to hold plank, you can hold plank. There is no shame in your game. Listen to your body. Two more on my mat here. Nice, strong positions. Last one for me. Inhale, lift. Up dog you go. Down dog. Now raise that right leg up to the sky and then take it straight forward and plant your left foot down to a 45 degree. Prepare for warrior two, nice and high. 
hold position. Now in this position, really get those legs active. Squeeze those legs together. So you're squeezing your left inner thigh towards the sky. Your right hip is being pushed back. Your right foot is pushing into the ground. And the ninth edge of your left foot is pushing away from you. One more breath here. Exhale, palms down. Transition into plank. Now again, you can do one chaturanga up dog, down dog. If you're coming with me, we're going to do another six. Lower and push. Nice strong body. So remember, utilize your breath. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze the core. Three more on my mat. Last one here. Over to up dog. Open up that chest, get that happy smile across your body, down to down dog, Whew. get your breath back. Inhale here. Remember you can go down to child's pose at any point. Raise that left leg up to the sky. Sweep it through to the left side of your hand. Plant that right foot down at 45 degrees, set yourself up for success, rise up to warrior one. And breathe. Is anybody else getting a little bit sweaty now? <laughs> Are we getting a little bit warm? Beautiful. Let's come back to grounding our feet, pushing through the knife edge of the right foot, planting your left foot into the ground too. They're both equally pushing into the ground. Take another deep breath in here, open up the chest. Exhale, palms down, and then transfer back into that plank position. Remember, if you want to go straight into one chaturanga, you can. If you're coming with me, six more presses. Push as you go along. So remember, you're lowering with control, and then push as you exhale. Really push the ground away. Imagine you're shoving something away that you don't like anymore. No, thank you. Three more here. Push away. Nice, strong body. When you've done your six, up dog and down dog, meet me there. Two breaths here. Look forward, step, jump or hop. Halfway lift, exhale, lower. And then root to rise all the way back up to stand. And then exhale, palms down, pause. Pause here, get your breath back. You can either stand in mountain pose or you can take that left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly and breathe. We're gonna go one more round on that one before we make our way to the ground, okay? So stand back into that mountain pose. Everything you're doing on the mat today is a challenge. And the fact that you are going through this challenge means you are able to face anything in life. So palms up to the sky, raise up to your highest and greatest self. Exhale, bow down and humbly accept all of the challenges and all of the blessings with grace. Halfway lift, nice strong body. Palms down, you can either do one chaturanga if you're coming with me, plank position. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga for six. Take your time. Squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the legs, maintaining the integrity with the core. This is so good for every single muscle in your body. Two more here for me. Keep your neck in neutral, eyes are looking 45 degree forward. When you're done, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Centralize your left foot, raise your right leg up to the sky, send it forward, plant that left foot, warrior one. 
nice strong position. Drive both feet down, squeeze those legs. One more breath here. Plant those hands and send that leg back. Remember you can do one, or if you're coming with me, we're going back for our six. Exhale, lower. Inhale, oh pardon me, exhale, push. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Keep that strength. If the strength means no, you're going into downward dog or you're going to child's pose, that's okay too. Exhale, two, four, two more for me here. Keep those legs strong. Keep that core strong. Up dog and down dog. And breathe. Deep breaths in through the nose. If at any point you need a child's pose, even here, take it. Last breath. If you've gone down, come back up to down dog. Lift that left leg up to the sky. Plant it on your left side. Plant that right foot down, warrior one. And breathe. Beautiful. Really press down with our right foot. Open up towards the sky. One more breath. Plant those hands down. This is your last opportunity. One chaturanga or six if you're coming with me. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades. This is tough, but you are tougher. Two more here. Last one. Up dog. Down dog. Look forward, jump, step or hop. Halfway lift. Lower down. And I forgot to do this at the beginning. Chair pose. <laughs> we die, we dove straight down. So that was my fault. Hold here. Squeeze those thighs together. Open up the chest. Breathe. Breathe. And then create straight up to stand. Arms down, mountain pose. Breathe. So we're gonna make our way down to the mat. We are not going to do six pushes this time, but we are still gonna use the blocks. Okay, so palms up to the sky. Exhale, down to the ground. Halfway lift. Palms down, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Bend those knees. Sit back into those hips and just rest for a moment. Actually, if you've got the block right here, what you could do is place it vertically and then just rest your chest down. And then you're taking those fingertips nice and wide, about as wide as your yoga mat, and then you're literally just keeping up this position. So you're almost having a nice elevated child's pose. So you're keeping those arms active. They probably are still tingling from the push-ups, but you're just resting your lower body. Beautiful. Now for those of you who've got the block, slowly take one hand and take it away. And then now come all the way down and rest the body, upper body, just rest, just for three breaths. <sighs> Let out a big sigh if you need to. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. One more breath. And then slowly look up and then just walk those hands back. Beautiful. So come over to sit on your bum. And we're just gonna take a nice forward fold. So I'm gonna move my blocks out of the way actually. We're not gonna need them. We'll keep them to the side for um, Shavasana, just to help us get into a deeper relaxation. But before we get there, 
take those feet forward. So feet nice and flex. Move the fleshy part of your seat back and then really press into the ground. Press into the ground, open up the chest. You might even find your heels lift up because your legs are so active here. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Excellent. And this time, relax those legs ever so slightly. Relax those arms. And then start to bend the knees and almost pulling the heels towards your chest. So there's a difference between coming into that forward fold or actually pulling those legs up. Look what happens to my back. It's still nice and pronounced, yeah? So we still have that elevation. So as you're dragging your heels towards your upper body, we're gonna take our palms up to the sky. Deep breath in. We're gonna hinge from the hips. Hinge, 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 hinge. And then place those hands on those feet, on the back of those feet. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, forward fold. So we're basically taking our belly over our thighs. So we're not really focusing on the hamstrings, we're focusing on finding the back bend in the forward fold, that's it. Finding the back bend in the forward fold. Reach those arms forward, reach those arms forward, reach, 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 and sit up, nice, beautiful. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach forward and take those arms onto those feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, reach those arms forward before you rise up, utilizing the hinge from the hips. So none of your back is doing the work, it's just the core. Lift back up straight to the sky. Exhale, hinge. Palms down to the uh, feet. And this time we do get to relax a little bit more. So just take three breaths here. Breathe here. We've got another little hard part. So before we go to that, let's just take a little bit of a breather. Luckily, no more push-ups, no more arms, I promise. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. Take those arms forward, reach forward before you raise up to the sky. And then exhale, palms down. This time, scoot yourself forward so you're coming down to the mat. So, I don't want to break my clip, so I'm going to move that away. Find yourself in a nice neutral position. So, hips shift left to right forward and back. We're in a nice neutral pelvis for this one. Take both hands and then just take it right underneath your bum. So you're protecting your lower back. And then pick your left leg up to the ceiling, right leg up to the ceiling. So it's like legs up the wall, but we're going to be active with this, okay? So first point of call, we're going to take our right foot and we're going to drop it down to two o'clock. Keep our left foot straight up to 12. And then that right foot is going to drop to about mm, three o'clock. And then see if you can take it down to about five o'clock. Yeah, we're almost doing TikToks with our legs. Bring that right leg all the way up to the sky. Beautiful. Let's try it with our left leg. Left leg drops to two o'clock. To three o'clock. Maybe to five o'clock. And then coming straight back up to the sky. So there's a lot of core work here. Let's do it, go with our right leg again, two o'clock, three o'clock, and five. So you're almost parallel to the floor. We're basically just taking three movements. Come back up to the side of the sky, and then left leg, point one, point two, point three, back up to the sky. Now if at any point this is aching, just, you don't need to go down as low, okay? Let's do that one more on each side. So point one, point two, whatever you feel comfortable and you can feel your abs and not your back, go to that point. Left leg, one point, two point, three point, come back up, bring those knees in towards your chest and just rock from side to side. This time, both feet up to the sky again, feet nice and flexed. So you've got option one where you only do one leg. If you want to take another level, we're going to take both legs now, point one, both legs, point two, point three, 
and then come all the way back up to the sky. So only go to your level. Point one, both legs. Point two, point three, work that core all the way back up to 12 o'clock. Let's do that three more times. Point one, two, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. Three, all the way back up to the sky. Oh, okay, two more. Point one, two, three, Come all the way back up, use your core. Last one, I think. Two, three. Let's go all the way back up. Let's just do one more for good measure. Lower to one, to two, to three. Hold, 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 hold. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And then relax to the floor. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Amazing, okay. So just take a deep breath here. Two more breaths. So before we go into Shavasana, one last exercise just for the back body. Plant both feet into the mat. Feet hip distance. Palms down alongside the mat. And we're gonna squeeze our legs Squeeze the feet, squeeze all of our muscles in our lower body, hamstrings are engaged, glutes are engaged, and then we're gonna push up. We're not gonna come very high on our glute bridge. Beautiful, just come up and we're really pushing the feet away, pushing the ground away with our feet, should I say. So squeeze the glutes, squeeze those legs. Really focus on the glute muscles, the hamstrings, the feet, the calves, and squeeze these muscles. This is your only focus before we go into Shavasana. So we're going to go into pulses, and we're going to do at least 25, okay? So you can speed it up, or you can slow it down, but let's get started. We're going to drop our hips, tap our sacrum to the floor, and then come straight back up for one. Drop our hips, tap our sacrum for two, squeezing in those legs, squeezing in those thighs. Imagine you've got a block right there. You're squeezing your legs together. And the more focus you come into those muscles, the more those muscles work. There is actually research to say you're focusing on the muscles, they're going to grow and get stronger way more than you not bringing awareness into your body. And that's the whole point of yoga, right? Bringing awareness to where you are now. And as I've been chatting away, we are halfway, we're almost halfway through. Keep pulsing, keep focusing on those legs, focusing on that peachy booty. Good. This is 15 on my mat, 10 to go. Keep squeezing those legs, making sure you're getting a good technique out of those final five reps. Beautiful, last five. Squeeze the abdominals, four, three, two, last one and hold, 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 keep pushing the ground away with those feet, two more breaths here, your legs might be shaking, and then drop those legs down, if you've got your blocks, please do take those blocks and just take them underneath those, uh, underneath your knees, you can come into a diamond pose position, Whatever you feel comfortable in a Shavasana. So figure out what is most comfortable for you. Set yourself up into this nice relaxed position. And relax your toes. Relax your ankles, your calves, your knees, your hamstrings, your thighs, your hips your glutes, your lower back, your mid back, your abdominals, 
the chest and the shoulders. Relax the top of the arms, your forearms and your fingertips. Relax your neck, gently swallow. Relax your jawline, your cheeks, your forehead, and the top of your head, your cranium, and relax.
start to deepen that breath. Inhaling through the nose. Breathing into that belly. Start to wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes. Bring awareness back into the room. Slowly taking those hands up overhead, removing the blocks if you have them, feet out in front of you, big body awakening stretch. Beautiful, bring those knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug for doing what you do, for being here, and for finding strength in those challenging moments. Take yourself over to one side, give yourself a half twist, and just pause there for a moment. Come back up to center and twist the other way. Beautiful, just take your time on this one. And this time bending both knees, staying where you are and just come into that fetal position. When you're ready, push yourself up to a nice seated position. Just keep those eyes closed, taking in three breaths. From root all the way to the crown, and from the crown all the way to the root. Sweep those arms up beside you. Take that energy that you've gathered on your mat, interlace your fingertips, and then just point those fingertips up to the sky. So you're pointing your index fingers together and you're interlacing the rest of your hands here. Take a deep breath in. Join all fingers together, bring it down towards the chest as you exhale. Take a deep inhale with me for one on. Gently bow. The divine in me sees, honors, and respects the divine in you. Thank you so much for being here.